Alrighty, you guys, so you guys asked for a day in the life, so that's exactly what you guys are getting today. Today is not your average day in the life because it is a Friday, but the kiddos are home from school because the teachers had some sort of meetings and such, and then Monday's a holiday for Martin Luther King, so we have a four-day holiday. But I thought I would start off with vlogging. You guys have been asking for it. Today, we have to kind of arrange furniture because it, a donation place is coming to do a pickup on furniture tomorrow. So we have to paint tomorrow. We have to get all the furniture prepped and ready to go because they could be here as early as eight o'clock in the morning. And then Sunday we are getting furniture delivered. We have to go get, get paint today because we're gonna paint our master bedroom seeing how all the furniture is gonna be out of there. But so yeah, so you guys are gonna come along with me this weekend. Um, so we are getting rid of this piece right here. I love this piece, but sadly this has been scratched with all the moves that we have gone through. So we are replacing it with like a metal one. These are going to end up going into the playroom. That's going into the playroom because we are going to rearrange everything in there. We already got rid of the um, nightstands. This bed is gonna be donated. We're getting a new bed. Oh, I have to tell you guys the story on this little guy too. So this is the dresser we're donating and then the two nightstands. That's a package I have to return. So all that is already done. Got this mess going on. I have to go ahead and clean up. But I want to get a cup of coffee to go ahead and get this day started so this is where we keep like all of our teas and coffees just on hand i need to restock it this is a, one of my absolute favorites the starbucks mocha and this was a recent find and this is so sneaking good too the cinnamon dulce 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 mm, which one am i gonna go for today no, i'm gonna go with the mocha like heading in a cup of coffee. Get my favorite coffee creamer. French vanilla. And then mama likes her stuff sweet, so I put in some sugar too. So this is probably going to be a organization video right up here <laughs> coming soon. So as you guys know, uh, I went ahead and took the puppy over to the groomers. Uh, they went ahead and called and we like him to be like a short teddy bear haircut. That's what the cut is called is the teddy bear haircut. I showed her a picture. She's like, okay. And so I was at lunch with my parents. My parents were in town visiting. My dad put in a doggy door for the little guy. Um, but they called when I was at lunch and said, you know, we need to take him down a little bit further because his hair was matting. And she's like, I can tell you brush him out, but because his puppy hair is so fine. You see this little guy? You see what he does? When I'm not looking, he thinks that he can go ahead and jump on the sofa. So they went ahead and called and said that even though she could tell that we go ahead and brush him out, his puppy hair was so fine that when his adult hair started coming in, it just started matting together. Obviously, if you guys have been watching my channels, you guys see him on his back like flopping around and everything. So she said that um, because he does that and the puppy hair was so fine that it just matted. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I knew that was probably going to have to happen. She said we shouldn't have any problems with his hair anymore because it is like a nice thick fur or hair. Um, and so she said, and also 
his black is probably gonna be all gone. And we knew that was coming, we knew he was gonna be silver. So we could tell when I would brush him um, that his coat was starting to turn silver, um, gray, whatever it is. And so I was like, oh no, I thought maybe we had like one more haircut before that actually happens. Um, I go to pick up this thing little guy and he looks like a dang chihuahua. <laughs> And I mean, I have nothing against a chihuahua, just we didn't buy a chihuahua, we bought a Yorkie. So I know his hair is going to grow back nice and fluffy again, so that's okay. But then, so that, the haircut was on a Thursday. So that Monday, we took him to get fixed and microchipped and all that good stuff. So now he's got a lovely cone on his head and he looks like a chihuahua. I take him in on Thursday to go ahead and get checked out um, to see if the cone can come off, which she said most likely yes. So. Alrighty, you guys, so I'm going to drink my cup of coffee, do the dishes. I feel like that was like a straight power hour, like right there. And then we are gonna start rearranging some furniture, emptying some stuff out, and seeing what I can get done for the heavy before he gets home. So he's gonna have to do the heavy, heavy lifting, but. because I don't need no copyright and stuff <laughs> um, so I went ahead and removed everything out of here just the lamps I need to turn off the lamps um, just the lamps will need to be taken off right at the end so that's done my husband can go ahead and move that towards the front door when he gets home so there's one thing down let's move on to the next so the game plan this bed we are donating the mattress we are keeping though because my son's bed in his bedroom it is actually a set of bunk beds when we were living over in dc we only had a two-bedroom apartment so we had bunk beds for the kids so we're going to put the bunk beds back together the other pieces are in the garage and then we're going to put the mattress on the top bunk this bed will be gone this is going to be gone uh, we have a little like hockey table thing. So we are going to move the sofa down towards the end of the wall. Put the desk that's in our master bedroom right now over here. So this is where I'll be working, editing and stuff like that. And then um, the hockey table will come into the middle of the room. One of the dressers inside our master bedroom will come over here to hold up the TV. We can utilize that as toy storage. And then the other one will be in here. We need to go ahead and rearrange this. This bedroom needs to get painted eventually. And then we have some artwork that we got from Hawaii um, years ago when we were on our honeymoon out there. And we call them the girls, but they're all different. And I just love these pieces. We got it at an art gallery over there. And it was a local artist there in Hawaii. But they're all different. And I just think that they're fun. And so we're going to paint the walls gray. And then put these up and put up maybe some shelves and stuff like that. But And here we go. This is where all the magic happens. All the editing. <laughs> And I have to finish editing a video today, too, if I can. So, a little fun fact about me is I'm obsessed with black and white pictures when it comes to my kiddos. We had these uh, taken by, actually, my son's old babysitter, um, a really good friend of ours. And so she came, took pictures when my daughter was born. And I have one of these of my daughter as well. The picture in the middle went ahead and adjusted. So we're going to have to take this whole thing apart and replace it in. But... And I just love this, so we're going to have to find a place to hang these pictures of my daughter's um, somewhere in the house. So I'm finding all these like pictures. So my daughter, I'm obsessed once I had her. I got obsessed with Ladybug, so this was from her very first Halloween. And I got this picture, it's like a poster size, printed out at Costco. 
uh, for her first birthday party and it was a black and red ladybugs theme so don't you do it nope. so I just found this picture and I love it I'll never get rid of it I think she was the cutest ladybug ever okay you guys I know it doesn't look like much but I'm making a lot of progress I got this in here and the TV set up moved the sofa down my husband just has to break down this bed right here and I got the desk in here so it's going to have so much more room in here and maybe I can do something cute in the background and I can like film some videos back there or something but and then the master bedroom but all this done in here my husband's probably gonna be upset with me a little bit saying I shouldn't have been moving the furniture because I could have got hurt that's what he's here for but I just wanted to surprise him so I have not unhooked the computer because with my luck I won't be able to get it put back together and I got videos that I need to schedule out for next week I have Monday's video scheduled out but not Tuesday or what or I'm sorry Wednesday and Friday's videos so I'm going to go ahead get something to eat. I think I'm going to make a sandwich or something. Uh, the kids have already ate, but I have not. And it is 2.13. I'm going to go ahead and eat and then come upload for the next two weeks. And so I have the videos already done. I just have to schedule them out and then go from there. So whenever I'm sitting down and eating lunch is usually when I catch up on my YouTube um, videos of watching people. Um, I just went ahead and watched my girl Love Meg, her deep cleaning, uh, my laundry room and pantry deep cleaning video. One of my girls, Karen Ireland, her new planner for 2017. Um, my girl, Lindsay's Life and Style, workout with household items. That was a really good one. So I'm gonna watch, she's in her apron right now. You guys. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> what does one pick? This is my fave, but I've been kind of feeling like rock mood lately. I'm gonna go for this pink chocolate chip. This is dedication, you guys. Sitting on the floor. I'm going to go ahead and upload. Maybe I should have thought about that before I got rid of the desk, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and upload. Got my ice cream. Mm. Speaking of YouTube, you guys, can you guys see that number? Can you guys see that number? The day, the night before Thanksgiving, I hit 1,000 subscribers. Today is what? January 13th. And I'm so close to 5,000 subscribers. Like, blows my mind. Thank you guys for everything. I appreciate you guys a ton. I have my subscriber giveaway going on right now for my 2K giveaway. And I had said in there, um, once I reach 5K, I'll go to do another giveaway. You guys, but <laughs> I'm probably going to be hitting 5K before that one even closes. So I think I might have to push it back to like, 10k or something um it just blows my mind and i am so appreciative and thank you guys for everything because without you guys this wouldn't be possible so thank you guys that's crazy so i have a power hour scheduled clean with me my daughter's room scheduled hobby lobby and alta hall scheduled and then I'm just reviewing my cleaning products video that has been highly requested before I start saving it to upload that. And let me get that phone. Okay, you guys, it is Saturday morning at 7.02. I did not close out the vlog last night. Sorry about that. Um, but I'm going to continue on today. So you guys go ahead and be expecting a vlog number two. Bye, you guys.